hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to be discussing another novel matigari written by ungugiwan tiongo we are going to be analyzing the plot of the novel and uh, also some of the striking incidents in the novel please subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so that you get notified when the video on the characters and characterization in the novel is uploaded the novel martin gary uh, is written by kenyan author ungugiwan tiongo and the novel is narrated in the first person and closely follows its eponymous protagonist matigari so the novel is allegorical and is inspired by the tumors and the political crisis in kenya in the 1970s the story protagonist is called uh, matingari and uh, he challenges his uh, oppressive government and seek truth and justice for his people oh the novel is divided into three parts with the two parts named after two central characters and another named specifically after matigari's pursuit of truth and justice so in part one of the novel which is titled ungaruro wa kiriro which simply means in english wiping your tears away Martingari, the protagonist of the novel, relinquishes his weapon upon defeating his long-time opponent, Howard Williams. And Howard Williams is an allegorical representation of the settler colonialism, that is the entire colonialist in the novel and also in the Kenya in colonial era. So, Matigari, believing that the country will soon be restored, buries his AK-47 gun under a tree and acquires a, a strip of tree bark, which he calls the bed of peace. He befriends a small boy, which is named called Muruki, and another person, a worker in a factory called Ungaruro wa Kiriro. So, Ungaruro is partly responsible for organizing a strike in the factory where he works because of the low wage and the oppression of the people, especially the workers who are indigenous Kenyans. So, at a restaurant, Ungariro and um, Matingari meet a woman named Gutera who tells a story of a young virgin forced to choose between her desire to respect her heavenly father, which is God, and her wish to protect her literal father from colonialist oppression. So now the colonialists want Gutera, want the child to respect God and believe that even oppression of the people and colonialism is a will of God. And he's also left with another choice to fight against the oppressors and deliver his father and also his father's land. So Gutera tells Matigari to search for his wife and family in the plantation feed. There again, they, they, they find Matingari's house, which now belongs to Howard Williams' son, which his name is a robot, and his assistant. His assistant is called um john boy jr john boy jr so when matingari requests his house back robert and john boy refuse 
claiming that he must first provide proof of ownership in the form of the title deed of the land and the house and the certificate of occupancy of the land and he was dragging with them so part one ends with the matingari being thrown into jail because he refuses to let go of his house and uh, insisted that uh, he must get his house back from Robert, the son of William. And uh, he was taken out of jail. He broke out of jail. Then his name becomes famous across the country. And he himself is turned into a legend. Many people feared his name and at the same time respect his name anywhere his name is mentioned. So, in part two of the novel, which is titled Makaria Manakihoto, which means in English, Seeking of Truth and Justice, Matingari goes on a hunt for truth and justice, asking random groups of people, began to ask random groups of people for their advice. This group, not recognizing Martingari, because Martingari was asking that then that he want to fight the colonial government. So, and the people did not recognize him. So, they told him to look for the man called Martingari. He is the one strong enough with supernatural power to face the colonial government. So, that is why they, all of them, both the priests, both the rich, both the poor, both the old and the young that he met, asking them questions on how, um, for their advices on how to deal with the government of the colonial list. They recommended that he should look for the man called Matigari. So, a teacher, a student, and priest all recommend that Matingari not challenge the government power because they fear the colonial government. So, but Matingari was determined that he is going to challenge the colonial uh, hierarchy and ensure that his people are liberated. So, the part ends with Matingari and Ugaruro thrown into a mental hospital because they summoned courage to challenge the government. And the government feigned or pretended that uh, Matingari and Nugaruro are mentally insane for trying to challenge the hierarchy of the government. And then they were thrown into the prison. So in part three of the novel, which is titled Gutera Namuruki, which in English is translated as the pure and the resurrected, Matingari and Nugaruro break out of the mental hospital. Meanwhile, the voice of truth announces over the radio that the British and European community have given the country a sizable loan for more security measures. Now, why do they give the country a sizable loan? Because the colonial government is being threatened. It's already been threatened by Matingari and those who are determined to fight the colonial government and rescue uh, the Kenya society from colonial oppression. Now, the British and the European Com Community Association have given law to the colonial government in Kenya so that they will put more measures, security measures, to keep those dissident voices, to keep those who are yearning for independence. The law was given for security purpose, and the security purpose is to protect the colonial government, not to protect the people. Is to protect the colonial government and the colonialist masters and the colonial masters so that the native the citizens of kenya who are yearning for freedom will not be able to get hold of the colonial masters so you could see the sense and the, the reason for the law so a subsequent announcement again in the radio revealed that ungariro Kwakiriro has been shot and key by the police and Matingari more the death of Ungariru. So, however, Matingari refuses to back down from his fight. 
he was determined, insisting that the world has been turned upside down and must be made right again. So, Martin Gary has come to a new realization. After having followed a path of non-violence and peace, he planned to reclaim his house through force and violence, planning to fight Robert, planning to fight the police, and planning to fight John Boy. Those are the people who are in charge of his house because Robert, the house belongs to Robert, and even police and the colonialist army are guarding Robert, the son of uh, Howard William. So, Gutera and Muriki insist on helping Matingari to reclaim his house and also to reclaim the nation from colonialist oppression. So, Matingari, Gutera, and Muruki make a place to retrieve the Mercedes and they go from the Mugunmo tree, where he buried it, where he buried his gun, before going to the house to fight Robert and his boy, the robot boy, John Boy. So the whole country await in suspense, wondering who Martin Gary really is. He goes on. And then he goes over to get more petrol to his Mercedes so that he will be able to go to his house, fight, and then be able to return without the petrol inside getting exhausted. So, there in the station, Master tell Matingari about that the, the petrol attendant tell Matingari about the public most recent rumor about him. They inform the informer from earlier, which is called Guseru, is also there in the station, in the first station. He witnessed Matingari and quickly moves for the telephone. And then he called the police, informing them that Mu, uh, Matingari is fueling his master's bench and planning to go and fight. Then, as Matingari drive towards the Moguno tree from the station, Police car begin to follow him. Matingari decides to take them in the direction of the house. So Matingari leap out of the car and said the house is on fire. The people, inspired by his action, decide to set fire to all the other oppressors' houses, belongings, and even their cars. So soon after. Matingari and his friend realize that they are being trailed by the police. They dash out of the yaka and run from the bullet, being shot at them by the police and the army. So Gutera is shot in the right leg. Matingari scoop up Gutera, carrying her to the river in front of them. Together, they fall into the river. The, the dogs, the police dogs, stay at the river beside, watching when uh, Matingari Gutera, their body will flow or will be flowing in, on the surface of the water. So, eventually, together again, after the fall, the army catches up and they stay watching the river. The army began to watch the river, including the police and the police dog, hoping to see Matingari and Gutera's bodies floating. Then rain begins to fall, putting out all the fires that earlier had consumed the oppressors' houses, so that the, the, the fires did not extend to the house of the indigenous Kenyans. So the novel ends with Muruki. Digging up all the things that Matingari had hidden under the Muguno tree, he sling the AK-47 across his shoulder and catches, and then he began to watch as a rideless horse gallop past him. So Muruki watches the rainfall, and in the distance, he hears the sound of a siren. Suddenly, 
he hears the voice of the workers, the peasant, the student, and others, patriots of the different nationalities of the land, blending together in the cry, victory shall be ours, victory shall be ours, victory shall be ours. They began to sink and then they began to deride the colonialists, began to deride the colonialist government and hoping and wishing for freedom. So, according to them, since the houses of the colonialists have been set on fire and their properties consumed, Kenyan people have won and Matingari have won the battle because he was the first bold and courageous enough to set fire on the houses of the colonialist oppressors. So, they not uh, end with that jubilation, the singing among the native, the indigenous people of Kenya, that they have gotten victory over the colonialist oppressors. So, the novel end in such notes. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you get notified when the video on the characters and the role that each character play in the novel is uploaded. I promise you, the video on the character is going to be detailed, it's going to be explosive, it's going to be so interesting. Have a good day. Thank you.